It is my desire that through the unction of the Holy Spirit, you will receive this word in your life. The thought that comes to my mind is the measure of Christ's love for us. When I look at the word measure, it speaks to the extent, quantity, or degree. If we should sit down and analyze the real extent to which Christ extends his love for us, we will be amazed. We'll be marveled because of the truth. There's no true word that can really express the love of God for us, but we use the terms that are available to us, the definitions that are available to us. And so we look at this, that it is immeasurable by the standard of God where his love for us is concerned. He loves us to the point where he was willing to come to robe himself in flesh to become the incarnate. He was willing to take our place take our place in the sentence the sentence of the verdict of guilty he was willing to take it on our behalf and he was willing to die to die in order for us to live to die in order for us to survive to die in order for us to have eternal life for us who were living in our sinful state Jesus Christ commended commended his love toward us in a while we were yet sinners and this is where Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says it says but God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us he commended or he proved proven his love for us in other words God clearly shows his love for us by dying for us. Having now understood that his death is for us to live, the question is asked, what do we do now? What do we do now having abundant life through Christ's death? Live our lives to bring glory and honor to the Lord for the rest of our lives. Do you know that our life of submission to the Lord transcends from this life into the next? Not just our life that we live, but our praise and our worship, because in the transcending from this life to the next we will continue to worship him and praise him and honor him and adore him we will continue to submit ourselves to the Lord so there are some things that shift from this life into the next and there are some things that will not go over to the next life but as we embrace the measure or the extent or quantity of the love of God for us, we will ensure that our life is lived unto him and unto him for the rest of our lives. My problem for all of us is that we embracing the love of God will live according to his will his plans for us. May we walk in the beauty of holiness and may we live our lives to bring honor to the Lord every single day.
single day. Do have an awesome day. God bless you.